It's commonly believed that dogs are more formidable creatures than cats. In general, this is true, but there are exceptions. Cats that can give a head start even to powerful dogs. From the huge half-wild cat from Africa to the deadliest cat on the planet. In this episode, I'll show you cats that are a hundred times more dangerous than dogs and tell you a lot about them. Let's go. Savannah Many people call the Savannah cat one of the most dangerous cats in the entire world, which could give a head start even to powerful dogs. It makes sense because the Savannah cat has wild blood. This cat is a cross between a wild African serval and a domestic cat. Its wild nature shows itself regularly. The Savannah is not an average domestic cat, which only needs a home of some kind. It needs a lot of space. First, because of its wild nature, it likes to run and jump around all the time. And second, the Savannah is a very large cat. Its height reaches 60 centimeters and its weight is 15 kilograms. So, in comparison with usual domestic cats, Savannah looks very big. If the Savannah is brought up, trained and given a lot of space, everything will be fine. If you miss these points, the cat will become very aggressive and dangerous to people on whom it will take out its wild character. Siamese Cat As you know, cats are vindictive creatures, but perhaps the Siamese cat has no equal in this respect. Yes, these cats are distinguished by their beautiful appearance, expressive eyes, unusual coloring and gracefulness. But behind all this, there's an aggressive and vindictive nature, which makes the Siamese cat very dangerous. If you accidentally offend a Siamese cat, it'll remember it forever. At best, it'll take immediate revenge on you by scratching your hands or face and will pretend that nothing happened. In the worst case, the cat will retaliate from time to time for the rest of its life, bothering you at every opportunity and inconvenient occasion. The Siamese cat owners rarely part with scratches. The same is true for the owner's children. Siamese cats are very dangerous for little children who may unconsciously hurt them and then will be scratched or bitten by them. In addition, Siamese cats can also fight with other pets, including dogs. All of this makes them very dangerous and not the best breed of cat on the planet. Chaucy By crossing the Abyssinian cat with the jungle cat, breeders got a new breed of Chaucy at the end of the last century. The breeders wanted to create a breed that would keep the appearance of the wild cat but have the character of a domestic cat. Well, they didn't fully succeed. Yes, the appearance of Chaucy looks like that of a wild cat, something like a lynx or even a cougar, but its characteristic is rather wild than domestic and calm. The Chaucy, as well as the savanna cat, needs a lot of space, so even a multi-room apartment is not always suitable for the content of such a cat. If Chaucy doesn't have enough space, it'll get mad and start turning everything upside down. The furious Chaucy is a real threat. By the way, Chaucy's are divided into several species from F1 to F5. F5 Chaucy's are the most socialized and calmest. So if you still fell in love with this breed, buy a young F5 Chaucy kitten and immediately begin to train it. Then it won't be dangerous. Bengal Cat just like in the case of the Chaucy, wild and domestic blood flows in the Bengal cat. All because Bengals are a hybrid of wild and domestic cats. This mixing of bloods has given these cats their main feature, impulsiveness. Bengals and dogs have in common that in the absence of attention from the owner, as well as poor training, they become uncontrollable and insane. The Bengal cat must be trained from early months. If the owner doesn't do this, the Bengal cat will become uncontrollable and, as an adult, it can cause real harm to its owner. In training the Bengal cat, one must be very careful. You cannot shout at these cats or even talk in a raised voice. Otherwise, the Bengal cat can take revenge. In general, there are a lot of complications with Bengal cats, but there are also advantages. If you do everything correctly, you can get a quiet and very cool cat with a beautiful color, which will become the best friend. Bengals, Savannas, Chaucy's, Siamese cats. All these cats are dangerous in one way or another, but believe me, they are nowhere near the truly dangerous cat. It has a resounding title, the deadliest cat on the planet. 
In terms of bloodlust, it can give a head start not only to fight dogs but even to such predators as tigers, jaguars, and lions. I'm talking about black-footed cats. They live in South Africa. They're about 50 centimeters long and weigh only a couple of kilos. That's not much, but the size doesn't prevent black-footed cats from killing up to 14 animals every night. This is due to its need. The black-footed cat needs to eat at least 250 grams of food per day, which is one-sixth of its average weight. On average, it catches prey every 50 minutes, and its hunting success rate reaches 60 percent, which is three times higher than that of lions. Of course, the black-footed cat is not dangerous for antelopes, but nevertheless, it is considered to be the most lethal cat in the world. Manx Cat The Isle of Man in the Irish Sea is the home of the Manx cat breed. According to legend, these cats got there in the late 16th century from a Spanish ship, either wrecked or attacked by pirates. In any case, for a long time the breed developed in isolation. Perhaps that's why not only the mutation in the form of the absence of a tail is well entrenched in it, but also an amazing character. Like dogs, Manx cats are very loyal and sociable. They rarely clash with children and they also make excellent guards. In addition, just like dogs, you can call them and they'll be in front of you in a moment. Manx cats are very cool cats, which can even be taught different tricks, orders, and commands. If you love cats and dogs equally, this is the perfect breed for you. Maine Coon Next, we have one of the most famous cat breeds in the world. Maine Coons from the U.S. state of Maine are incredibly huge cats. In fact, this feature alone already makes them similar to dogs. Maine Coons weigh up to 8 kilograms and their length ranges from 50 to 100 centimeters. By the way, the largest cat on the planet today is also a Maine Coon. His name is Barrival and he's 120 centimeters long and he lives in Italy. Like dogs, Maine Coons are very fond of water. It's believed that the reason is these cats have long been shipboard cats. They're not afraid of water and are happy to bathe and constantly try to fish in the tub. They also love fresh air. If you take a Maine Coon for a walk in winter, it will certainly frolic in the snow. These cats are not afraid of the cold because, especially for this purpose, they have very long and thick fur. Maine Coons are extremely intelligent but unobtrusive creatures. They are perfectly trainable and loyal to their owners, but they prefer to keep a distance of mutual respect. Norwegian Forest Cat This breed is also called the Viking Cat. The Norwegian Forest Cat, common in the countries of Northern Europe, came from the crossing of Angora Cats and Nordic Wild Cats. The name of the cat speaks for itself. From ancient times, these cats have always spent time in the forests and learned a lot of tricks there. For example, the Norwegian Forest Cat is the only domestic cat that's so great at climbing trees that it can descend upside down. Also, these Norwegians are great fishermen. These cats will not be lost in the woods, but they're also very comfortable at home with their owners. Purebred Norwegian forest cats are very attached to their owners. At the same time, they do not choose one person but consider the whole family as their owners. Also, these Norwegians are distinguished by an atypical feature for cats. They're attached to people but not to places, which is more typical for dogs. This feature has many advantages. The cat easily tolerates moving and can also be safely taken out to visit or travel like a dog. These cats adapt to any conditions. The main thing is to have an owner around. Ragdoll Ragdoll is an amazing breed that's considered the most unperturbed of all cat breeds. These animals have a balanced character. They're undemanding and prefer to adjust to circumstances. In terms of the attention that ragdolls give to their owners, they can be compared to many dogs. Ragdolls are trusting and affectionate with their owners, but they also ask for attention in return. Ragdolls are very affectionate, they love people and hardly tolerate loneliness. This is probably why they like it when people spend a lot of time with them. These large, furry, blue-eyed cats are unusually tolerant of tactile contact and tenderness. They relax and curl up in your hands and even allow themselves to be petted for a long time. If you ask me, it's the perfect cat. 
That's all, guys. What do you like more, dogs or cats? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and see you later.